Greetings, honorable magistrates, esteemed judges, respected assistants, noble ladies and gentlemen. I am deeply honored and humbled by the invitation to participate in this special occasion. Inaugurating your new program, the Diploma Participation in Environmental Rights. As a fellow concerned citizen of this world, I offer my congratulations and gratitude for this sincere endeavor that demonstrates your high degree of care and dedication to the environment and our world. May it strengthen your ability to carry out what is most just for all beings on this planet. Today, I'm very honored to offer my humble contribution toward your wise ruling by sharing some of the newest scientific evidence about climate change and its most urgent cause. A. Climate Effects and threat. We have signs of imminent crisis are evident in all corners of the world. First, storms have nearly doubled in intensity over the past five years, as we can see in Mexico on recent hurricanes and floods, which uh, left damage, trauma, and grieving families. Meanwhile, Sea level are rising and at a faster pace, with at least 18 island nations that have completely disappeared and many more coastal areas continually threatened. Once towering glaciers are receding so fast that over 2 billion people are already short of water and food. Many more suffer shortage as tens of thousands of rivers and waters are gone on drying. Mexico herself is currently undergoing the worst drought in nearly 70 years, with 300,000 fellow human beings now dying each year due to climate change. More than 20 million have been displaced as climate refugees. Scientists also worry about the billions of tons of methane sitting beneath the now melting Arctic permafrost and the ever-warming oceans. Just a fraction released from either one could trigger mass extinctions. B. The cause. What causes these damaging changes? It's not cars, ships, or planes. It is not coal plants, and it's not even all the smoke spewing industries in our world. The number one cause of global warming is livestock. Recent research tells us that livestock raising is responsible for more than 50% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. Livestock is the single largest source of human-generated methane, a greenhouse gas that traps at least 72 times more heat than CO2, as measured over a 20-year period. The good news about this, heat trapping methane, is this gas is also more short-lived than CO2 and disappears very quickly by comparison. CO2, carbon dioxide, stays in the atmosphere for thousands of years, while the lifetime of methane in the atmosphere is only about 12 years. In other words, methane does much more damage in the short run, but if we stop it, we will be able to reverse the trend of global warming very fast. Therefore, to rapidly halt global warming, to halt the emission of methane, we must stop its number one source. 
that is livestock breeding. C. Livestock. Now we talk about livestock. Livestock raising is responsible for countless adverse environmental effects, each of which further aggravates global warming. According to the United Nations and other studies, livestock raising is known to cause the following devastating effects. One, deforestation. Livestock raising is the single largest human use of land and the main reason for deforestation. Since the 1970s, livestock production has been responsible for 90% of the Amazon deforestation to clear land for pasture and grow animal feed crop. A rainforest area the size of a football field is destroyed every second to produce just 250 hamburgers. Scientists warn that if we continue on this damaging path, the Earth's forests will soon stop absorbing greenhouse gases and instead we start to release huge quantities of carbon dioxide, CO2. Moreover, deforestation for livestock activities also produces black carbon. Black carbon is a greenhouse particle that is 680 times as heat trapping as CO2 and causes the ice sheets and glaciers around the world to melt even faster. Up to 40% of black carbon emissions come from burning forest for livestock. 2. Soil erosion and desertification. Over 50% of the world's soil erosion is caused by livestock, which along with deforestation leads to desertification. 3. Biodiversity loss. Livestock is the leading cause of animal and plant extinction due to land degradation and other habitat destroying effects. The livestock industry is killing off our beautiful wildlife, including Mexico's own. 4. Deadly pollution. Of all sectors, the meat industry is the biggest source of water pollution. Excessive and unregulated animal waste, chemical fertilizers, pesticides, antibiotics, and other livestock-related contaminants choke our waterways and create oceanic dead zones, such as the massive one in the Gulf of Mexico. Five, disease. Over 65% of human infectious disease is known to be transmitted from animals. The filthy and inhumane conditions of factory farming harbor lethal bacteria and viruses such as avian and swine flu, which we all know is a pandemic continuing its global deadly toll. Six, food waste. Livestock uses up 12 times the amount of grain as the same amount of vegetable protein. About 730 million tons of the world's grain harvest are used to produce animal protein. This could feed all the hungry people, numbering one billion in the world, and many times over. Seven, water waste. It takes over 1,200 gallons of water to grow one serving of beef, but only 98 gallons 
of water for one complete nutritional balanced vegan meal, while 1.1 billion people lack access to safe drinking water. We waste 3.8 trillion tons of precious clean water each year for livestock production. Eight, energy and resource waste. Animal products require eight times as much fossil fuel energy to be produced compared to vegetable products. A study found that meat and dairy production in Mexico use the most agricultural supplies and resources in the country, and this is reflected elsewhere around the world as well. All the evidence speaks so loud and clear: if these resources, land, water, and grain, were turned instead toward the direct support of human life. Instead of livestock, what a different world we would have! Respected climate scientists, including Dr. James Hansen of NASA, Dr. Carlos Nobre of Brazil's National Institute for Space Research, and Dr. Rajendra Pachori, head of the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change (IPCC), all have stated that. Reducing meat consumption or becoming vegetarian would be an effective solution to global warming. That is, we have to live an animal-free lifestyle, a compassionate lifestyle. Now, I will present just some of the many benefits of a vegan, organic diet. D. We have veg benefits. First. The land for grazing and feed growing could become forests that help reduce global warming. In addition, if all tillable land were turned into organic vegetable farmland, not only would people be fully fed, but up to 40% of all the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere could be absorbed. This is in addition to the elimination of over 50%. Of emissions caused by livestock grazing, therefore, in sum, we eliminate most of the human-made greenhouse gases by simply adopting the animal-free, the vegan organic lifestyle. This also leads to considerable financial saving for world governments. It has been calculated that by shifting to a vegan diet, the world's governments would save. 32 trillion U.S. dollar by 2050, or a full 80 percent of total climate mitigation costs. Finally, of course, there are the excellent health benefits of the vegan diet, which has been shown to prevent cancer significantly. It prevents and reverses heart disease and diabetes. It boosts the immune system. Extends longevity and preserves the health, intelligence, and calmness of the adults and children alike. In closing, honorable sirs and madams, the great country of Mexico has always looked toward advancement. In her environmental actions, and are planning to be at the forefront to combat climate change and protect the world. The Mexican Constitution even states that all persons have the right to an environment appropriate for their development and well-being. Bravo! At this most urgent time for the planet. I beseech your honorable graces to please help your country and our world spare lives from the impending global warming calamity. If you don't, there will be too massive a catastrophe, too immense a suffering upon people, families, the children, that our conscience 
may never be able to bear it. I can only honor you with the truth. When I say that we must become vegan to save our planet, we cannot wait for the sustainable energy and green technology to be available and used by everyone. It would be too late. I call upon the courage of all council present with the authority and power vested in you. May you lead your co-citizens toward the noble, virtuous, life-saving and planet-sustaining path. Thank you for your attention. God bless you all. God bless us all. God bless Mexico. Muchas gracias. Some of the benefits of a vegetarian diet lowers blood pressure, lowers cholesterol levels, reduces type 2 diabetes, prevents stroke conditions, reverses atherosclerosis, reduces heart disease risk 50%, reduces heart surgery risk 80%, prevents many forms of cancer, stronger immune system, increases life expectancy up to 15 years, higher IQ, saves 70% of a total cost of 40 trillion U.S. dollars for reducing global warming, uses 4.5 times less land to grow food, conserves up to 70% clean water, saves 80% of the cleared Amazonian rainforest from animal grazing. A solution for world hunger. Free up 3.4 billion hectares of land. Free up 760 million tons of grain every year, or half the world's grain supply. Consumes one-third fossil fuels of those used for meat production. Reduces pollution from untreated animal waste. Maintains cleaner air. Saves 4.5 tons of emissions per U.S. household per year. Stop 80% of global warming. Plus more.